Welcome to Financial Freedom. I'm Yvonne Davis, author, astrologer, and life transformation coach. And in this channel, I'm talking about all things related to financial freedom, namely, uh, how can you develop financial freedom? How can you do work that you love, become self-employed, follow your heart, do your heart work, and also you know, everything that I have learned over the years, becoming self-employed, doing work that I love, doing creative work, following my heart, doing my heart work, and uh, building YouTube channels. This is my second channel. My first channel is Yvonne Davis, where I do astrology and other things related to spirituality, metaphysics, and manifestation. So uh, let's get started with today's video. I do affirmations in uh, on my financial freedom channel. So I'm going to do an affirmation today. All right. Today's affirmation is I am stepping out of my comfort zone and overcoming my fear. So that's a good one to practice with today. I am getting out of my comfort zone and overcoming my fear. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. Okay. Um, here's the thing. When people want to change their lives, make their lives better. Most people, if they're going to change their lives, they want it to be better. Um, you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to, in some way, step into the unknown. Because the fact is that what you know is your current life. And that becomes your comfort zone because it's what you know. But if you want to change your life, you're going to have to move into the unknown, into doing something that is unknown to you, going someplace that's unknown to you, meeting people who are unknown to you, trying different activities that are unknown to you, okay? And that means you have to step out of your comfort zone. And that can be really scary, you know? And so the idea of stepping out of your comfort zone also equates to stepping into the unknown and it also equates to working with your fear around stepping out of the comfort zone and into the unknown okay because if you can't do that it's almost impossible to change your life because the fear will come up and it will try to stop you from doing things that are unknown to you and the truth is that if you can push past that fear and do it anyway, most of the time you will find that you will actually be successful. And on the few times when uh, maybe you have an experience that is uh, challenging, or even if you look back and you say, you know what, though, I think maybe that was a mistake. Maybe you might call it a failure. Um, but in the end, it's really not, you know, uh, I want to tell, tell you a little bit of my background so you're going to understand where I'm coming from with this. So I've been nomadic for quite a while now. I think I would say um, really since like um, as soon as we entered the year 2015, uh, a number of things happened that catapulted me out of the place I had been living for a long time, which I had actually wanted. And I did um, a feng shui ritual um, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day of 2014. And then at the full moon, which was like right at the beginning of 2015, um, it catapulted me out of my housing situation. And so that was something that I had wanted, even though it was pretty, pretty shocking when it happened. But um, it led me to being basically nomadic. And I've you know, had places to live here and there, but, um, but nothing has felt truly permanent. And I tried moving to LA. I lived in West Hollywood for a while and it was exciting and I'm glad I did it. But the fact is it didn't turn out the way that I had hoped and it ended up costing a lot of money too. And, you know, some people said that was a failure. You shouldn't have done it. That was a mistake. Um, primarily my parents, you know, because parents want to save you from making mistakes, but you can't, you can't be saved from making mistakes <laughs> unless you're going to, you know, live in your comfort zone forever. And 
um, it can get pretty stagnant there, you know, and it's not, not really a good, healthy place to be. We need to step out of our comfort zones. We need to take uh, risks sometimes. We need to challenge ourselves. And sometimes those things work out the way we hoped, and sometimes they don't. But I have never, ever considered that a mistake. I don't have any regrets. I don't consider it a failure at all, ever. Um, I, I still look back on that and thought that was such an exciting time. I'm so glad I did that. Yes, it was expensive. And yes, it didn't turn out the way I'd hoped, but I've never regretted doing it. It was an exciting experience. It was something I'd wanted to do for a long time. And I learned a tremendous amount from it. And it led me to doing other things because I had been in a situation in a comfort zone where I was in a rut. I was so deep in a rut, I couldn't even see other options. And so moving to LA, even though it didn't turn out the way I hoped, actually did catapult me out of the rut that I was in and did lead to new experiences. Uh, one of those experiences was getting a master of fine arts degree. So now I have a master's degree and I'd wanted to do that for a long time. And so that actually catapulted me in that direction and I'm happy I went. Um, and then another thing is it actually led me to YouTube because I'd never watched YouTube before, except maybe every once in a while, somebody sent me a YouTube video and I watched it. I didn't know anything about YouTube. And, uh, and then because I was in a different situation where I didn't have a television or cable and I, you know, I would go see a movie sometimes or read books and stuff, but I didn't like, you know, it's, it's nice and relaxing to um, be able to watch television. Since I didn't have a television or cable, I just started looking for entertainment on the internet and that's how I stumbled upon YouTube. And I was like, wow, this is like almost like going to another planet. There's so much here. It's amazing. And I thought I could do that. And so um, that was the beginning. It did take me a year to get over my fear. Um, I had a lot of fear. I was intimidated. Um, and there was a huge learning curve at the beginning. So it took me a year before I took the first step of uploading my first video and it wasn't even a video I made. It was a video someone else made and it given to me and I tried it out and it worked. And then um, took the next step very shortly after that of actually recording my first video and uploading it. And those videos can no longer be <laughs> viewed because um, they, they weren't that great, but I've learned a lot in, in the past three years and um, I've built my astrology channel up to 5,800 subscribers. And um, it's, I, I'm very happy with the success I've had and I continue, I plan to continue building that channel and also this channel because uh, the subject matter is pretty divergent. So I felt like I needed a separate channel to be able to cover this information, um, but it's something I'm really passionate about and I want to be able to share all this information with you. So that's an example of why you have to step out of your comfort zone and also an example of why you have to overcome your fear in order to do something that might feel risky uh, because it's unknown. But I've basically been nomadic for, I guess, since 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Gosh, that's a long time. Six years. Like I said, I've had places to stay, but none of, none of them have felt permanent. And I will be leaving the place I'm at now in December. And uh, last year, I spent six weeks living in Central America, basically Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Six weeks, and that was exciting. And uh, I thought maybe I would be a snowbird expat and living in Costa Rica, but I realized that it was too far from my culture. I was, and I didn't know the language, and I. I realized I wasn't really going to be happy there to stay there for five or six months. So I decided to come back to the States. So I'm going to uh, be traveling South again. Um, I'm going, you know, in December, I'm leaving here. I'll be nomadic again. I'll be traveling South. And it is a little bit scary thinking about stepping into the unknown. You know, I don't know what to expect. I'll be staying in the United States. That'll make it a little bit easier, but it's still going to be um, an unknown and yes, fear comes up, but going back to the, today's affirmation, 
I will say again, I am stepping out of my comfort zone and overcoming my fear. And I will just continue to repeat that and work with that. And I hope you will too, so that you can achieve all of the goals and dreams that you have. Remember, step out of your comfort zone and overcome your fear. All right, that's it for today. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Just uh, click on the little red button down there and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing this video with friends and family and on social media. And feel free to leave your comments below. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.